glory will be my happiness, for you are enshrined there. I have spoken those words in sweet nail for more than 1,000 performances, and never without tears in my eyes of gratitude. Yet I would not yield them for a paradise. Laughter, tears, joy, sorrow, all these have played a big part in my life. But it is with tears of joy that I look back on the wonderful affection shown me in so many ways by you, dear friends. We all know that we each have, or should have, an undefinable something, perhaps a compelling willpower, or a giving out of personality, magnetism, or charm. But why is it that one person who is apparently made of the same mixture as a great many others can take possession of your heart, brain, and understanding with almost the first words they utter. What is it that makes one person more than another bring laughter to your lips and the tears catch in your throat at the same time and you stretch out your hands to them with your heart big and tender and say, you dear. The little unloved wife, Maggie Wiley, in Sir James Barry's clever play, What Every Woman Knows, pathetically tells us that it is charm, a sort of bloom on a woman. If you have it, you don't need to have anything else, not even education. And if you don't have it, it does no much matter what else you have. Some women, the few, have charm for all, most have charm for one, and some have charm for none. I myself seem to have played such a little part in my humble efforts to please you, to have deserved that pinnacle upon which your wonderful opinion has placed me for so many years. And I am all so very grateful, my dear, dear public. My endeavor always is to try and radiate some of the love, esteem, and affection which you have given me all my life. For it isn't the things you do that matters. It's the things that you leave undone that gives a great big heartache. And when I am no longer with you, I want you to think of me as just withdrawn into the dimness. Yours still, you mine. Remember only the best of our past moments and forget the rest. And so to where I wait, come gently on. Always the same, Nellie Stewart.